So, uh, good morning, uh, friends, family, and foundation members. I'm Carter Holmes, and I would like to start off my speech by saying uh, thank you to you all, not only for the word, but mainly for believing in me, showing me that dreams are achievable, and I have a tremendous amount of support to follow me on my journey. Acting is a very challenging, rewarding, and exciting profession. Imagination, emotion, and drive are all required to excel in this field, all the qualities of which I possess. At the age of nine, I was cast as a lion in my elementary school's first musical production, The Wizard of Oz. From that moment on, my life has changed forever as I fell in love with performing and being in the spotlight. Over the years, I've been involved with multiple theatrical productions, such as Jesus Christ Superstar, Yes Virginia, There's Santa Claus, and Hither on the Roof, all productions of West Bend Festival Arts Theatre in Campbellford. Most recently, I was the main character in Willy Wonka, which I was produced by the Swimming Festival Theatre. My passion for acting has grown over the years, and I'm eager to embark on a post-secondary education experience at the University of Toronto that is focused around theatre and developing my stage persona further. I truly believe that I have the credentials and attitude to succeed in what I set my mind to. I'm adaptable to different surroundings, personalities, and characters. My motto is do the work, get better, and move up. I would like to thank my acting teachers and mentors over the years, such as Gail Keith, Brian Finley, Dave Noble, David Vanderlip, and Reginald Stacey. All the people listed have taught me something different about myself into a better performer and actor than I am today. I'd also like to thank my friends for always taking an interest in whatever I set my mind to, making fun-filled memories with me and supporting me through it all. I'd also like to thank the Murray Justice Foundation for giving me the honor for being a recipient of this award and how much I value and appreciate this. And finally, my parents for always having my best interests at heart. Even though conflictions arise, I know they always want what's best for me. When choosing my path for my future, and myself wanting to pursue acting. They both were a little uneasy, as the field is not the most reliable, it's very competitive, and takes a true passion and talent. After thinking about it, they came to the realization that I'm confident in my abilities, and I have the drive needed to take me to the top. I know that they will always be right there in the front row, cheering me on. Today has been a beautiful ceremony. Thank you for everyone who made this happen, and congratulations to all the recipients as well. I'm sure we'll meet again someday, whether it's passing in the streets or seeing our names in a program. I cannot wait to start on my future, but my dream. Look out, Hollywood. I'm coming for you. Can, I, can you look over oh, first? Oh, sure. Could you stand all together and just look into the camera, please? Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you. I'd like to begin with, of course, thanking the Marie Dressler Foundation for not only recognizing my passion for the arts, but also for their efforts in preserving vintage films and a woman who was a pioneer to the film industry. Growing up, it wasn't easy to picture my dream of becoming a big-time screenplay writer and director for being such a small town. However, this home that's behind me that I've driven by my entire life reminds me that I can make the movies I've written transfer onto the big screen. Along the way to where I am now, there have been a number of people that remind me my passions make all the difference to where I am at. A few of my educators have been an essential part to my future. My 10th grade teacher, Mr. Ross, is someone who understands that the films weren't just something I go to the movies or sit in his classroom and watch, but knew that they are my life. That year, with his help, I created St. Mary's first film club. Each meeting on Thursdays reminded me of the importance and power of film, which pushed me a bit more towards my dream career. My English teachers, Mr. McKechnie, Mr. Buzminski, and Mr. Tremoni, guided me through the classic novels and fundamentals to an essay, and furthermore, with my decision to attend the University of Toronto for a double major in English and Cinema. Lastly, my family is the main reason why I'm here today. My younger siblings, Cole and Grace, have shown me the importance of pra being practical and remind me that you may find what you're looking for in unexpected places. And above all, my parents. It was as though the moment I was born, I was exposed to the beauty of cinematography and the importance of good soundtrack. I'm lucky to have grown up watching films such as Three Dancing, E.T., Good Morning Vietnam, and other films. My parents have always respected and supported my talents and encouraged me to aim for a, decor a home decorated in Oscars and to meet Robert De Niro. And trust me, I can't tell. I will forever be grateful for everyone's support, faith, and love for me in my future. So again, thank you to all. I am so excited. 
incredibly honored to be receiving one of the Marie Dressler scholarships. Marie Dressler holds a very special place in my heart. Since I was in the fourth line theater cast of Queen Marie, which is a musical about Queen Marie, or Marie Dressler's life and career, um, her, this musical sparked my interest and now passion for musical theater. So I have Marie Dressler and Fourth Line Theater to thank for helping me to be where I am today. I also have my mom and dad and my sister to, help, uh, to thank for their continuous support. When going into such a competitive and difficult uh, career path, you think that parents might suggest that their children have a backup plan or choose a different career that's a more stable career option. But my parents were there to push me and uh, tell me to follow my heart. <laughs> And lastly, I would like to thank all the people who support and or have an appreciation for the arts. I do what I do because of your love for it, and I do it all for the audience, really. So, thank you. <laughs>
Bill is a co-founder of the Mary Dresser Foundation. After a major fire that destroyed most of the building, Bill took immediate action to help reconstruct the historic house that is such an important local and a tourist attraction to the town of Colby. Over the years, Bill has continued to contribute time and money to keep the house improving, including contribution to the impressive new Marie Dressler Museum and raising funds for the Foundation's colleges. Working alongside his wife Delphine and Terry Ford, Bill was instrumental in the development of the Colby Film Festival, which continues to run successfully today. In addition to his dedication to the Dressler Foundation, Bill has also touched the lives of so many of our community and other organizations in the community of the Foundations. He was instrumental in establishing the Colbert's Women in Crisis Center, which is today known as the Cornerstone Family Violence Prevention Center. He funded the Public School Hot Meals Program, was chair of the United Way in Northumberland County, raising a record amount of funds in his years there. He chaired the Northumberland Hills Hospital Foundation Building Fund Drive, raising in excess of $19 million for construction of the new facility. And through his involvement with Gordon Public Covert, Bill has contributed to dozens of community events each year and has raised hundreds of thousands of dollars in support of Rotary projects. And even though I'm not a Rotarian myself, I was going to the Rotarian weekly meeting uh, as a guest on a number of occasions. And of course, everybody knew that Bill was going to do some fundraising as he worked his way through the crowd on the Friday meeting. So I would just take $20 out of my pocket and say, Bill, will this cover me for the meeting? <laughs> so he was that effective in not, not just raising huge amounts of money, but you know, going around collecting small amounts of money on certain projects. So Bill's energy and enthusiasm attracts others in our community to join his efforts. His mark can be seen throughout our town, and he has ben personally benefited many lives. So thank you, Bill, for your continued dedication to our community. Now that I have said all that, you must be thinking, what an impressive young person this will be to be nominated for this award. And you will be right. Canada 150 Bill's Patrick promotion to Community Award. of St. Mary's Secondary School. Kenzie is academically strong and musically talented. She plays soprano and alto sax in the school pit band and uses her piano skills to support the school community. She enjoys challenges and devotes the time and effort required to be successful. Kenzie is presently working on creating piano for the Royal Conservatory, Conservatory of Music to broaden her skills in piano and she has given hours to the Canadian Cancer Society and volunteering with children under 10 years of age. Mackenzie is no doubt a go-getter who works long hours and In the fall, Mackenzie will attend Queen's University for a Bachelor of Arts. So congratulations, Mackenzie, on your academic accomplishments. And also, I want to thank you for your All, th all three of you together, please. Of course, 
my family. But I, in my speech, I chose three specific people that I wanted to thank that have helped me the most. So, ever since I was a child, I knew what I wanted to do when I was older. Whether it was a psychologist or a pediatrician or a lawyer, I knew I wanted to help people. There were things that I, however much I planned, to not have anticipated. I always looked up to my mom because to me, she seemed to be able to do almost anything. My mom was actually the foundation for learning the piano. If it wasn't for her, I probably would have never even looked at a piano, let alone play one. My mom also made playing the piano a stress reliever for me because as soon as I touch even a single key, she just comes flying in the room at top speed with her tea and her iPad ready to sit and listen to practice for hours. For this reason, I want to thank my amazing mom for giving me a passion, for believing in me, and helping me through high school without asking for anything in return. I would also like to thank my brother, Colton, because I've always strived to get recognition from him because it's rarer than to send you a poem and it's like a much boring book. I always strive to be better because it might have meant a simple nod from my brother and to me that's like winning the lottery. If someone would have told 13 year old me that I would be playing lead piano and the sound of music, I would have thought they were crazy. Even 14 year old me would not have believed it. The one person who always did was my music teacher, Miss Conway. All throughout high school, I had at least one class with her, and every class happened to be my favorite one. Ms. Conway is everything a teacher should be. She is confident, tenacious, extremely talented, hardworking, and not to mention, she's full of life. Most importantly, she believed in me.